Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 14th of 2021. Well, it is titled GW 200115 simulation of a black hole merging with a neutron star. So this is a simulation of a gravitational wave event and the coding is the gravitational wave event is the GW followed by the date that it was detected. So this was detected on January the 15th of 2020. And it was detected by the LIGO and Virgo observatories, which are set up to look for gravitational waves. Gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity over a 100 years ago, but were not detected until just the last few years. So it's only been the last five or six years that we've actually been able to detect these. So LIGO and Virgo are two of the observatories that detect these gravitational waves. Waves. Now the video shows the simulation of what happened to generate the gravitational waves that were detected. And if we go ahead and play the video, we will watch that it takes over only a tiny fraction of a second and you can see time following down on the bottom. And you can see it's spinning around there with a black hole at the center, and then a neutron star orbiting around it. And now it will merge in to look at those two as they spiral closer and closer together. And in that final fraction of a second, you can see how they speed up. And then all of a sudden, the neutron star disappears, being absorbed into the black hole. So this is the kind of thing that happens. And this is what we need to see gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are produced by any moving objects with mass. However, it takes very strong gravity in order to get enough gravitational waves to be able to detect them. Now this is because gravity is a very weak force. We may not realize that because we see gravity and are used to it every day and think of it as rather strong holding us here to Earth, keeping Earth in orbit around our sun, keeping the moon in orbit around Earth. But it's actually the weakest of the four forces of nature. And therefore, the gravitational waves are correspondingly weak. But when you get very large, very massive objects spinning around and moving very fast together, as happens in the last, say, last few fractions of a second, you can see that there we're down to, it'll be down to just a, th a few thousandths of a second as they merge together. That is when we get the little ringing of the gravitational waves that a lot that we can finally are able to detect. So when other objects are moving you or me or even the moon, our sun, any other large objects, they do emit gravitational waves, but just not ones that we're capable of detecting at this point. At this point, we can only detect things when very massive objects such as black holes and neutron stars merge together in that final instant before their merger. So we continue to study these to learn more about gravitational waves, something that was predicted, but took about 100 years from the time it was predicted till the waves were actually able to be detected. So that was our picture of the day for July the 14th of 2021. It was titled GW 200115 simulation of a black hole merging with a neutron star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.